Welcome to another What's Trending Uncensored Weekly, where we go through the biggest stories of the week. I'm Shira Lazar. I'm Andy Lawani. I'm Casey Spivey. And today we are going to be talking about some of the tea of the week. Um, so first of all, I wanted to touch on PewDiePie and Marcia finally getting married. I saw that. So cute. Pictures were cute. Super yeah, cute. Yeah, it was just romantic. It was real compared to all the non-real weddings we've had recently in exactly. the digital space. So we'll talk about that. Um, also, as we speak, Shane Dawson is trending because he got hacked on Twitter. So I kind of want to talk about that a little bit, especially since it's happening right now. Um, and then we're going to talk about uh, Jay Shetty and him getting exposed. By Nicole um, Arbor. By Nicole Arbor. So that's what we have coming up. I don't know about that one. Um, if you want to just start with PewDiePie, um, I, there's this really cute clip I kind of want you guys to watch. Okay. This is, Pew, this is PewDiePie years ago, uh -huh. talking about his brand new girlfriend. Oh. What year is this? Uh, and, wait. I don't know. Uh, what year. But you should know that I'm really, really happy now. I think me and my girlfriend are perfect together. Oh. And I love her. So, uh, she said it's okay if I show a couple pictures. So. <laughs> Was that a cool oh. transition? Probably this not. Is, this is very <laughs> Here she is. Many she's years beautiful, ago. funny, it's like the smart, everything. And, Beautiful, funny. Yes. Yeah. Um, That's me. Oh, goals. My name is Marcia, and yeah, I think uh, I'll keep it at, at this. He's like uh, such a lover. Maybe I'll convince her to join one of my vlogs. But Maybe. not for now. <laughs> so stop and the asking rest is about history. it. No, I love uh, that. I love that. That's such a good example for so many guys that follow him. That like, you know, you can love someone. You can share them with people and like be I don't know be real I feel like so many guys well that generation at least from my experience dating <laughs> can be a bit disconnected and just like the way he's describing her is so real and human it's even though he's a huge star and he's been through so much like it I, and I don't necessarily agree with everything he's done on a professional level but like as a person it makes me feel like I would really like him like yeah. he's a pretty real yeah. cool person yeah he um I feel like in this clip he wanted to say I think I've found the one like that's like kind of what he started to say and then yes. he's like no I'll just leave it at that but that's like eight years ago that was eight years ago yeah and then to watch them you know that's she a... had started her own channel and then she left YouTube I think around this time last year to kind of focus on mental health and you know kind of be finding herself again um, and he's of course been through a lot through this last year with his stuff. We're in like two um, years, yeah. Yeah. And then the fact that they've been able to stay together and stay strong despite all the stuff, like going from being just a digital star to a mainstream celebrity, like the biggest celebrities out there, to everything falling apart. So they probably have like, I, this is me assuming, because you never know what's really happening behind the scenes, but obviously they stuck it through and ended up getting married and the pictures are beautiful. Yeah, just. Yeah. It seems like a real relationship versus yeah. a fake relationship. <laughs> yeah. And I like that they knew each other before. I, it seems like they met when he was still pretty new yeah. to the space. So it wasn't like she's getting with him for clout or anything. Right. Speaking of which. <laughs> oh. So do you, okay. A lot's happened lately in YouTube world of, of marriages. Marriage. Um, one yeah, that we're all happened, getting old. One that happened was uh, <laughs> Jake Paul and, and Tana. That happened. Jake and Tana. Jake and Tana happened. And that wedding also aired on MTV, what was it, like this past week? Yeah. The episode like recorded day of the wedding and they got it out pretty fast. And then she had a whole one hour vlog about it. It was an hour? There's like, yeah. Oof. There's a lot. It's a long time. <laughs> There's a lot going on with this. So basically the consensus after Jake released his vlog, MTV released their episodes, um, and finally, like kind of the missing piece in all of this is Tana's personal vlogs through this entire thing. People have been like speculating like, is it real, is it not, what's going on, like this is obviously for clout, blah, 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 blah. So, with, uh -huh. all, of the, with all of the different angles now available on the internet, Available online on YouTube. A lot to watch. It is. <laughs> I we hope you waste it. your time. I've watched so many hours of this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Thanks for admitting that, Casey. Uh, yeah. 
you know. Although it is part of your job. It is my job, so it's not bad. Fortunately or unfortunately. <laughs> I apologize. So, it's actually interesting. I'm really into it now. So <laughs> You're invested. I'm so invested. And my analysis comes down to... Okay. So, Jake and Tana have known each other for a couple of years. Uh. She's kind of always had a thing for him. Mm-hmm. Like, they kind of had a connection throughout all the things. Of course, they both have Shane Dawson series about how... Nuts they are. Um, so that's how they connect. Exactly. Crazy. Crazy meets crazy. Crazy meets crazy. Right. Sure. So they've like respected each other business yeah, wise and stuff for years. So she dated someone, this Brad Sousa guy, who I guess according to her was a little more controlling, a little more jealous, like not as like, cause she's been in an open relationship with Bella Thorne yeah. forever. Not ever, but you know, a couple years. Yeah. So. It was something that she was adjusting to, and, she, and according to her, she wasn't really happy in that she relationship. She wasn't feeling herself, probably, yeah. but she felt like, oh, this is finally a guy that wants to be with me, and it's, like, more traditional, so, like, yeah. I should try this out. Yeah, exactly. There are all those pressures. I could see that. Exactly. So, she decides, um, as soon as she finds out that Brad has been, like, messaging other girls and cheating on her, whatever. Usually, it's the controlling ones that are doing weird <laughs> stuff behind the scenes. They're doing it because it? they're projecting their own anxieties that they're going to get caught. Oh. Psychology. Psychology. <laughs> <laughs> so she exposed him, and then she said, like, literally an hour after they broke up, she texted Jake. Oh, yeah, I saw him. They went and, like, sat in a hot tub. Yeah, because they, they, they were always there. For, they, I feel like they get each other. They've been through controversies. There's this understanding they're both trying to, like, blow up and do their thing. So, yeah, you could think that they would be a, a really good match. Right. They probably, I'm assuming, maybe had really good sex. Well, she talks a, about on MTV, she, she does talk on about MTV, sex. it she says they have not. What? Yeah. Oh. So they've been yeah, hooking up but not having sex. That's surprising. Really? Really? Yeah, I don't know. That can happen. So that's know. what the MTV show yeah. is saying. Got it. What are they trying to like wait till they're married? They're married now. Okay. Have they had sex yet? All right. That makes me Three. feel like it's not really real. Although. Much respect if you're like just waiting or holding off like you shouldn't just have sex to have sex right away right. But that is surprising. It's, okay. Yeah Moving So <laughs> So she took a selfie in his bed. Yes, but not intending for anyone to figure it out That's when everyone like, sparked the and two then, and two together. Yeah, the the fans were that's like such that's BS. Jake's bed. No, dude, like, that's blah, such BS. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, whatever. You think so? Yeah. So then, because it was online, they were like, oh, people are paying attention. This is a huge deal. We're going to run with it. We're going to ride the wave. So Jake has done this before. He, like, married Erica Costell, his other oh, girlfriend. Oh, yeah, I forgot Maybe? about that. Yes. He did do, or they pretended, or they, didn't, they did a fake? They pre- online, they pretended that it was He's real. a notorious fake relationship, fake marriage guy? Yeah. Holy so this mother. is all of this went down with Erica Costa. So his fans, like this is not new. Like it's kind of it's kind of like pro wrestling. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they're yeah. very big fans of WWE, so it's creating storylines, getting people involved in mm-hmm. the fandoms, getting and then it all kind of falls apart and then it continues. Right, yeah. exactly. So it's it that's like the Jake and Logan Paul brand of creating content. Is like we're just gonna create WWE. these storylines, right? So Tana was going along with this, you know, and but all the while she likes him. She she so she's different. actually like, oh, maybe there's something here. She has yeah. feelings, yeah. So like she's like actually a human. Congrats, yeah. Tana. Like I'm a, I respect you have some human in you. <laughs> so she has also always said, I'm into open relationships. I I don't ever want to be tied down. I'm 21 years old. Like I don't I need to be I, yeah. right. That's crazy. So, so, they get married. Then the next day, or a couple of days, her fam- she has a family emergency. Mm-hmm. And people, yeah, I she think couldn't go her- on the honeymoon. Yeah, I think so that was she it. couldn't go on the honeymoon. So Jake went without her. With like a, was a with boys Logan, trip. And and to, boys Abiz- trip. to Abiza. Abiza. I think so. Yeah. Abiza. Abiza. Is it Abiza? Abiza. <laughs> I can't pronounce things. <laughs> it was a very expensive trip, and Jake vlogged the whole thing. Yeah, and it was like a party. It was like a. It was like a boat, and, and I saw like they had, was, they had photos with a bunch of girls, and like a, that was, was where like Tana was like, what's going on? It was like a bachelor party slash yeah, a bachelor party. Yeah. yeah. What you would do if you're either single or before you're gonna get married, and yeah. you feel like you're never gonna do anything else again. But if they're in an open relationship, true, that's not a big deal. Yeah. So. It's your it's your relationship, your terms. You said yeah, it, but if, if it's something that someone else doesn't agree with, it's your relationship, and you have your thoughts yeah. on it. So that's 
And according to the MTV show, Tana was very open about the fact that she had a, a side hoe. <laughs> a side what? A side oh. hoe that she was seeing while dating Jake. So it so seems everyone's like, seeing people. Yeah. I'm exhausted. So it, it, yeah, I'm tired. I can barely like handle an open one relationship. I can really get through one relationship. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like they're casually dating. Okay, cool. For real. And then the, all of this is like dramatics. All right. So she finds out that he met up with his ex-girlfriend, Erica Costa. It was like a Where? Was at a lunch. Like that. Right? Okay. There's a photo. Tana gets mad at that. Yeah. You can't just selectively get mad at something when there's no rules. Right. I we mean, don't, we don't know the rules in the I mean, relationship. You can, well, in but... open relationships, you have to be so good at communicating. Yeah. You have, like, there's, there's a lot that goes into open relationships. You can't just be like... We're just like you have to respect that other person, yeah. and you guys create your own ground rules. And then if someone breaks that ground rule, then there's a problem. Yeah, I don't know if this is something that they had discussed or if they just didn't communicate Probably well. Whatever. Whatever. So I can't see Jake Paul being like an amazing communicator, <laughs> <laughs> like communi- beyond his vlogs, like as if sitting down being like, okay, so I'm just letting you know how I feel, what my heart is feeling. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like let's talk about our triggers and our trauma. Right. <laughs> So he addressed this in his vlog because Tana exposed her him in her wedding vlog. He she yes. like included the photos. Do you want to watch that or no? Okay. Oh yeah, let's just watch the ending, which was kind of a uh, yeah. Uh, and then they lived happily ever after. The end. That part is like what everyone's talking about, just like the oof. For like the end. No, that just then, it's it's like when it's like those movies plan. that have wait it's like those movies or TV shows where you're like this is obviously gonna have a sequel. Mm-hmm. It's like this oh is, could be planned. It could be like hey let's make something out of it, not like have it end at the wedding or. I yeah, know. I mean her she went on Instagram and like saying. No, 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 no. Thought I was a. She like saying a uh, thank you. Oh yeah, next. she did the Ariana Grande like. And then text. replaced the lyrics with her ex's names and then and and for well, jake like and i then actually got married and for jake i'm so thankful but then so i found jake out he got like to this her, uh, ex-girlfriend what, jake is like Twitter. her uh what's it called uh the guy that ariana pete dated. Davidson? her pete Honestly. but who knows we don't know how well he is anyway we'll see what happens with this and we'll keep you updated on all that drama. i mean oh, it seems like this is just continued 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 it's just like continuation of all the stuff. Chapter they just one. want us to Chapter keep watching two. and sharing and talking about it. But I'm sure there are, there needs to be some feelings. Like I would hope there's some sort of humanity in this. I feel like it's just another Harry Potter book like in the making. There's like what, eight Harry Potter books and yeah. I'm like, Chapter nine, chapter 15. Yeah, I'm mean, actually, I physically got tired just talking about this. Story. Yeah, all <laughs> like, right. And I'm hungry too. <laughs> oh, continuing. Like, what I'm is up exhausted. next on our list of things oh, we need to okay, talk so about? Oh, okay, so speaking about royal YouTube weddings, Shane Dawson and Ryan Lind Adams are getting married sometime next year. Ah, they, fine. Yeah. Good. So, yeah, I feel like that's a healthy, functional relationship. Exactly. Speaking of healthy, functional <laughs> Um, like, I feel like that's real. They love each other. I'm so happy for both of them. Uh, you know, knowing Shane when he was with his ex and the fact, you know, before he came out, I'm just so happy he's like living his truth, living it up. Yeah. yeah. Nothing, nothing bad to say there. No, not at all. He came out as bisexual. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, I'm trying to find this. So he was on Clever TV. They did an interview and they basically uh, talked about some details of their wedding. They revealed did some they? scoop. Yes. yes. Who's gonna do the majority of the planning? Do you think it's gonna be a collaborative Ryland. effort or is it gonna be like one takes the lead? I think there'll be like two sections. Like there's, you know, we wanna do maybe a typical, you know, private you know, wedding type oh. of vibe, like, <laughs> a little more chill. But then I really wanna do a carnival. Yeah. So I'll probably plan the carnival. Like I'll book Jojo <laughs> Siwa, I'll book, you know what I mean? I'll book oh, all wow, this is gonna be, this be a big and I'll get the thing. zipper. I know the zipper. Um, so yeah, like, I'll deal, deal with that, and then he can deal with like the actual wedding. The actual like yeah, real that. thing, so even though it's the early not the showy is, part. Right. I'm just so interested because he's always like not wanting to leave his house or anything. Well, they're else. gonna get married in the house. Right. <laughs> but, but, you're like, but they said <laughs> they don't. He doesn't want to leave the house. He's literally gonna, <laughs> gonna get, get married. Get married. But I wonder, like this carnival, like that'll bring a lot of people. To his house. Yeah. Yeah, but his friends, like the exclusive VIPs, the mm-hmm. who's who of the YouTube, YouTube. internet world. Or yeah. his friends. But those are his friends. Yeah. I mean, Pretty well, much. Well, he says later in this, he was like, 
you know, he named Tana and he named Trisha and even Jeffrey as people he considers more family. So mm. they might actually be a part of the private one, private wedding. Um, but yeah. You know what I just think is so crazy is like as all of us are getting older and YouTubers are getting older, you're seeing them grow up and literally go through these big life moments in front yeah. of everyone and it's fascinating it is fascinating like Col colleen ballinger yeah. i've been following her you know she's in new york now doing waitress on broadway and she has a baby now it's wild yeah, yeah. and it's crazy to literally watch her just like how does she do it i don't know how she does it she's editing with the baby also charles trippy and ali had their baby they're literally vlogging and can maintaining all this while having a child, a child. And I'm interested to see how those children are, I don't are even too. know if I can think yeah. about having a child right now. That's, that's <laughs> the hard part. It gets me overwhelmed. I mean, I can't even take care of myself. Yeah. Right. Let I alone dog, having like, that. Thank God I can only take care of him at the moment. But, but bless one. all your hearts for all you social media YouTubers that do it all and like keep it up. Yeah. And are doing 800 things plus having a kid. It's impressive. Yeah. Good that's, for you. I think that Shane and Ryland do want kids. And Shane talks about this in this because he said that he intentionally stopped doing stuff that was crazy oh. because he didn't want to add any more, anything more that his kid might be embarrassed about. Mm. <laughs> He'll already, that kid will already have a lot to be embarrassed about. No, even by the way, whether you're uh, like doing embarrassing things or not, they'll still be embarrassed. Yes. Yeah, yes. pretty much. Well, it's also interesting because, you know, Shane's trending right now because his Twitter got hacked. And he's talked about how he is trying to phase out of being, you know, a comedian that does shock humor and all of that. Um, and it was just interesting because in, I think, February, January, Let's see. he, oh. um, you can look. I want to see his Twitter. Well, did they oh. tweet anything? Whoa. Yeah. Oh. It's a lot. Oh. It's like a lot of, <laughs> a lot of those. Germany deserved to win World, World War II. II that's Oh, oh my god. It's like a lot. This like hacker is just really dirty and mean. It. Like I don't even know if An they can angry, show this. angry person. Um, so they're tweeting just crazy stuff from his account. Okay. Yeah. So he hasn't commented yet. I mean, uh, did they, they kick him were. out? At this point, you could kick a hacker out right away. You just change your password. I don't know. I mean, like, like he, probably see. he should have gotten in touch with Twitter. Probably Twitter support. Well, yeah, at this point, all... they've gotten back in. Okay. Yeah, that's th at this point. Oh, also, happy birthday, Morgan. Yeah. Um, belated. So, yeah. Some of so kind it's of like, like a lot to show, even viewers or anything else, but even I'm. We myself. probably can't show it, but it's also just so, like, on the topic of like, okay, now I'm trying to. To, to rebuild and all these things keep coming back to haunt me. It's like, it will never go away. I think at that point, you just have to like let it go and just accept it. Yeah. Because there's no point, like, I think the more you fight it, actually, the more it'll come up. No, so, really? Yeah. So when people apologize for stuff, like this is, now people can go back and like re-bring re up old tweets and stuff like that. Like, first of all, you shouldn't tweet anything that you wouldn't want to come up later in your life, but Maybe you don't know that you don't want that to come up later yeah. in your life. Or... And I think that when you're at a certain age or a certain point in your career, when you're like growing, you start becoming like everything you're doing is you think is like making a statement or you kind of take yourself too seriously, mm -hmm. right? There's a bit of ego around it. Whether it's you're sharing something that's appropriate or not appropriate, you're like, well, I'm me. Right. I'm, I could do this because I'm me. And then as you get a bit more grounded and like that height kind of comes down, you kind of look back and you're like, whoa. Yeah. I had, it's not even just about a filter. It's just like, I just thought I could do anything. I was invincible. Yeah. Right. Right. Or I, I desperately needed to make headlines because yes, I'm trying that to become that too. famous. Exactly. So I'm going to do things. And you have no moral filter or ethical filter. Yeah. yeah. Speaking, On your career. Speaking of headlines. Um, Wow. Oh, speaking of more More headlines. There's still <laughs> more stuff to talk about. Yes. What well, is going on? Okay, so you all just told me about something that happened with Jay Shetty. Okay. I don't know what's happening. So Jay Shetty is a motivational guru, monk turned social media star. And he he is actually one of the top creators out there blowing up on YouTube, on Facebook. A lot of people discovered him through Instagram. Facebook. Oh. And Instagram. Yeah, because he became, I feel like, the poster child for a lot of those platforms because he was producing really aspirational, positive content that advertisers could 
you know, buy against. Uh, he has a top podcast. He's been on Ellen. He's, he's a basically, monk. yeah, I said monk turned social media star. Oh, sorry, I did not hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Andy. Stuff he's done. Anyway, so he, the past two years, really has blown up like the next Tony Robbins. I, I personally really look up to his con to him and his content. I've met him before. He's been really nice yep. with his time with me. He always responds to Instagrams right away. Not that that's a barometer for being nice, but it. What kind of? I met him at an event and he sat next to yeah. me and talked for like 10, 20 minutes. Exactly. Really? So when when this video dropped, someone DM'd me this because they know that I look up to him and I I'm inspired by him. Uh, when this video dropped, I was like, I don't know what to think about this. So basically, Nicole Arbor, who... If you haven't heard of Nicole, Ar yeah. Nicole Arbor, then... Uh, all I have to say is a few years ago, Dear Fat People. Yes. Uh, very controversial. Everyone dragged her and hated her and canceled her. She's still a comedian, uh, social media star. She's continued and continued to grow. Good for her. Uh, but this specific video basically comes out, and it's like, Jay, Jay Shetty is a fraud. So let's watch this, and I want to get your thoughts on it. It brings up a lot of seven. Uh, it br brings up a lot around plagiarism and what is copying. It's not like he reposted somebody else's meme. He crops their name out and puts in Jay Shetty. That's stealing. When you're young, you say I love you because I need you. When you grow up, you realize I need you because I love you. Yeah. Well, your mother is all of them. You you literally steal your everything. Wait, look. Mark Twain? <laughs> Wait. And the, at the end, wait, it says written and produced by Jay Shetty. Yeah. So, I was one, I was like, holy crap, I don't even know what to think about this because basically my, vi my, my visions and idealistic visions of him just came crumbling down. This has been a day of overwhelming like thoughts and emotions, but keep going. Well, so, and I didn't know what to think because Jay is kind of like so, so nice, so amazing. You don't want to believe it. And you do want to create excuses for why this doesn't mean anything. Uh, this video has gone over 1 million views or almost 2 million. It should have gotten more. It has not been picked up a lot by the press. Um, I do think there's reasons for this. A lot of people are saying in the comments that they- It's Nicole Arbor. Well, Nicole, That's cause the yeah, they don't, they don't take her seriously. But I mean, her examples speak for themselves. I think that this day and age, it brings up the question of what is actual copying and plagiarism versus being inspired. Let's be clear. If he had at least said all those things and at the end of the credit saying, um, some of the th like quoted by or inspired by X Y Z and produced or as, curated. As so and so said. Curated. Yeah, curated by Jay Shetty. But he literally took things that other people wrote and then it, it says written and produced by Jay Shetty. That is inherently stealing. And a part of me was like, why do I care though? Like, why do I want someone to call it out? Like, I I, had, I went through my own internal like struggle around this because I was like, he's not doing anything bad. He's helping the world. Like. Why does it really matter? Yeah. Why does it matter? It does matter because if he's setting a precedent for how a lot of people do this and he's being celebrated and making tons of money from it, yeah. then he gets to take responsibility for how he's doing these things. Right. Yeah. And, and if other people were in this time of motivational life coach, blah, 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 if we're saying this is okay, then guess what? Everyone else will think it's okay. And then we're living in a society where everyone's just basically stealing and lying from each other. And there's a lot of ethical issues around this. Yeah. It's tough because there's not really, I mean, it's coming up now, but there was no precedent for this before the internet, of course. It's like, fair use in, we've, in a way. Yeah. No, no, fair use of a quote. Right. It that means, argument comes up many times on the internet. Like fair use, like what is like something you can use for legal use or like before you start to claim and make money on something, but when it's something that's this scale. Right. Well, if you think about like meme accounts or mm -hmm. meme Instagrams yeah. or- You need to or, have permission to take that photo from somebody off the meme. F Jerry, you know, it's mm -hmm. like claiming that the, it, it's like you need we need to create a system or a, a title for a curator or some like a, a way to give people credit. I think that the whole thing is a lot of people don't like when their stuff is just taken, but the very least they go, if you're gonna put it in your on your account or put it within your content, give someone credit where credit is due. Yeah. And the fact that you're someone that's all about integrity and uh, and living your best life, well, is living your best life like if taking something from others without giving them credit. I mean, there is an inte integrity issue there. Yeah. And so, I mean, I do you think this is the end of Jay Shetty? I don't know, I think there's gonna be a lot of people that 
don't see the importance. And that's the issue here. The fact that people don't see the importance of giving people credit and why it's wrong to just take words like that and make it your own is an issue. I'm reading the comment section. Well, the comments are like, I'm so happy you called it out. Like even other motivational people are starting to call him out. But like, will, will it ever make a difference? I mean, Tony Robbins was called out for, you know, sexual assault or Me Too stuff. Yeah. And he's still Tony Robbins. I think we will overlook these things, including with these app inspirational people because we put them on a pedestal and yeah. we want to see them in a certain light and it's hard for us to see them otherwise. It's tough because if you think like back throughout history, people who have been spiritual leaders, you know, that get caught for something or caught for, you know, hypocrisy, it feels almost extra hurtful because you've trusted this person to exactly. lead you in a spiritual way. It's taking advantage of people that are obviously needing this and in vulnerable places and you're basically, you know, preaching all the stuff that is this something really that you've created or come up with? Because we're, we're trusting that it is yeah. because right. you're acting like it is. Right. And so then you become this guru yourself if, if and you like even, idolized. Yeah, if you even said like, as Mark Twain says or something, something like yeah. for, for going that at least, that could have saved this whole situation. Like anything, right. as he references as, as in his own work, but he's not. And that's the part that's kind of hard to digest as a viewer when he's preaching these words and anything else of that nature. Yeah, and it doesn't make you feel like you don't want to follow him anymore because it's not sincere. And I don't know now if like, is this honest. something that's been spoken before? Is this something that's a true psychological fact? Is this an opinion? Like, I kind of, it balances like, where did this quote come from? Or is this like a fact or opinion? I think it, it's a slippery slope in that like, you know, desperate people do desperate things. So it, it could be maniacal and he could be doing this on purpose. People are saying like, she was like, you're a sociopath. Right. If you're doing this and you think it's okay. I can see how you could go a little step, a little step, a little step, a little step. And then suddenly you look back and you go, oh my God. I've, I've come so far, I've gone so far. I'm too far into the yeah. hole now. Yeah. There's too many people who trust me you know like the, and and, and point, ultimately i am doing good because people are feeling freer and more spiritual yeah. from this but at that point you would say okay just in case this gets called out i'm gonna start giving i'm gonna do this differently because i realize i kind of lost track of it the thing is when you become such so big like he is even though he's pretty grounded when you meet him but you could see how maybe that also you kind of like get a big head and you say well no one's gonna really bring me down at this, this has point. happened to other youtubers mm -hmm. other people online about their content as well um it's just obviously like in the golden days of college when i started it's like obviously you need to not copyright or you need to like not plagiarize off somebody else because in the real world later on it bites in the butt yeah real hard or in this world where people can then just google like supposedly in the comments someone said yeah i heard a quote that he said and i really loved it so i googled it and someone else's name came up <laughs> i mean so uh, and i was thinking to myself like oh if he comes back and like argues this whole thing, he could say, well, I hired someone, they were writing it, blah, blah, blah. Although it does say written and direct, produced by right. Jay Shetty. Um, so he took the credit, and guess what? If you take the credit, you could be raised and then dragged the minute you mess up. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments if you think this is an issue. Is it really a big deal? Could he come back from it? From If he apologized, could he come back from something like this? Or not really? Like, is this so... Does this undermine his... Message, message, yeah. So much that he could never come back. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> oh, no. Well, we have talked about a lot of stuff today. <laughs> I have a lot to think about. I'm, like, tired just thinking of... <sighs> I know. I'm exhausted. Sometimes it's exhaust me. Be like, am I woke in the world? Am I up to date with everything going on? Sometimes it's better just to escape or just watch a video like this and we'll catch you. Yeah, Sometimes we'll catch you. Sometimes you all are just educating me and I'm just sitting here just in a pretty face. And you know those screen. <laughs> you know those shots where, he, you, like, Annie's just, like, staring at the camera, like... <laughs> I don't know. I'm actually like confused and just like <laughs> still trying to understand some of these things because society, you got to do more. It's but great. thank you for watching our. Uh, yeah, our thank you for watching board. What's Trending Uncensored Weekly. Again, um, also, there's a really horrible thing happening in the Amazon right now. Yeah. So we will include a link of uh, how you can find out more and to support and donate or just. Let's all just try to make some impact in this crazy world of ours. Yes, do yeah. some good. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, bye. bye. bye.